In our previous video, we extended our robot with uh, WS2812B smart LEDs. And in our Botango model, we added a custom on off event into our animation to turn those LEDs on and off. In this video, we will add the capability to change the colors of our LEDs in our animation. To be able to change the color code that is sent to our LED strip, we will use a custom color event and we will add it to the head base in our model. It could be at any place, but as the LEDs are in the eye, the eye is part of the head, that place just made sense to me. In the parts setup of this new color custom event, let's make sure that it gets activated when the project is started and let's give it the identifier i color this identifier will later be needed when we do the source code changes now let's jump over to the animate screen of botango here we have the track with the on off and i will move the turning off of the leds from the four second marker to the six six second marker we have to add a new track to our animation it will be a custom event track we can select the on off event from our parts list and then we can start manipulating colors at one second on our timeline we will add a new marker position and at this marker position we can change the RGB values that our light should have. Then we move on to the next uh, time marker. Again change the values and by repeating these steps you can add as many color changes as you want to the model. For our modeled color changes to really become active, we have to do source code changes. So let's go back into our Arduino IDE. Open the file called Botengo Arduino callbacks.cpp. Scroll down until you find the function called on color custom event color change. In this video description, I will leave a link for you to copy the source code from so you don't have to type it off the screen. But let's take a look at what on color custom event color change is doing. So we again start by getting the effector identifier name. You remember in the model we called it I color. If this callback function is called for the identifier I color, we will use the pixels class to hand over the new values for red, green and blue to our LED strip. Um, we're starting by the first LED, which is represented by the zero and for the full number of LEDs, which is represented by the uh, definition num LEDs that we created in the previous video. Uh, you can go all crazy in how you want to do the color changes. You can do it by uh, animations or anything. This is just a simple way of implementing this color change. When you're done with doing the code changes, all you need to do is again upload the change source code onto the Arduino. Now if we go back in our, to our Botango model and slide the timeline over our animation you can see the color changes really getting passed through to our led strip i'm not using the play button in this situation because there was a little bug in botango where the color changes were not handed over properly when using the play option but that is fixed in the newest release of botango this concludes this video and I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, 
I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up just as feedback for me and the work that I'm putting in in creating these videos. And if you don't want to miss any new releases, please also hit subscribe. I have no intention of making money out of these videos. If for whatever reason they should still get monetized, all profits that I will make out of these videos will be donated to an official charity organization. See you at the next video.